Hi everyone, welcome to VLSI Academy. So far we have understood about placement related concepts and we have seen different TAP cells, tie cells and different kind of VT cell concepts in the detail recently. In today's video, we will be understanding about timing fixes in the placement stage. If we take this example in this example, this is our clock source and this is our launch flop and the data will be launched from this side and it will be captured at capture flop that is why it is called as capture flop because data is getting captured as the capture flop and this is our typical timing path and in this typical timing path we will try to understand there are two type of violations in the timing so timing violations if we consider the major two type of violations are setup timing violation and hold timing violation so in the setup timing violation it is actually a maximum limit that is your data should not be too much slow or it should not take too much time once it is launched from this clock pin it should not take too much time before it reaches the data pin of the capture flop if we try to understand this concept by the waveform so this is our launch clock waveform which is representing the waveform of the launch flip flop and this is our clock period and this is below one is your capture clock waveform so your data should reach before it once it is launched from the launch flop it should reach before the capture clock period starts so cl capture clock edge starts so this is our typical window and we know that from the setup timing path is that this window represents your uncertainty in the clock so there is something called as uncertainty in the clock and since the clock in the placement stage it is not real this also is an important concept that your clock is not real it is unreal or you can say modeled clock your clock is modeled clock so it only has the information about your clock period and whatever the uncertainty that you specify that uncertainty represents your skew and your jitter in the clock so once the clock is synthesized that happens in the cts stage so once your cts is done at that time you will have the information about skew so you remove that uncertainty portion and uh, skew will not be there at that time your real latency of the clock will be there so in the placement stage your clock is only modeled so it will need an uncertainty portion and that is this portion this represents your uncertainty window and we subtract it when we calculate the setup timing slack how do we calculate the setup timing slack is your data should not be too much slow so it should be reaching before this window that means your data time so let's say if it is td it should be lesser than the clock period so your data arrival time td should be lesser than clock period that is your required time so your arrival time of the data should be lesser than the required time this is the basic concept now whatever you consider in the required time or arrival time that is how you understand the concept arrival time consists of your combination logic so t combo and it also has this flip-flop delay that is tcq so clock to q delay tcq is part of your is part of your arrival time similarly your required time it consists of your clock period minus uncertainty and minus your setup time of the flip-flop so internally also setup time is there for the every flip-flop and that also needs to be subtracted and this window entirely represents setup uncertainty plus your library setup time this is the concept of your calculating the slack so t slack if you see it will be required time minus arrival time required time is this arrival time is this and that is how we calculate it if you have knowledge of setup and hold time already then it is good or else we do have sta related playlist in which we have explained the timing concept also you can see that everything is explained in in detail here that is setup time concepts and hold time concepts uncertainty and all other sta related concepts are explained in detail in this 
The same playlist is also available at our website that is vlsiacademy.in. If you go to the courses, in the courses we have a STEER related course in which if you click, you will find all the concepts are explained topic wise there also. Here also you will find that we have the concept of timing explained here. That is setup time concepts and whole time concepts explained here also. So our understanding so far about setup time is that it is your max constraint. Max constraint means it specifies that how much maximum your data can delay or you can say how much time maximum your data can take from this launch flop to capture flop. That is what the meaning of setup time for this particular case is. So setup time is your maximum constraint. Similarly, your hold time is your minimum constraint that your data should not be too fast that it is not even holding inside the data inside this flip flop properly. And that is why when you say that you check the setup at this edge of capture flip flop, you will try to see the capture. You will try to see for hold in this particular edge. That is your same edge. You will check hold on the same edge and that is actually not the same edge it is actually when you say that capture edge is this and you are checking the setup on this edge you will say that one cycle before you check your hold and that generally is your hold is your same edge so what you are trying to essentially say is when your clock is triggering at that time you are trying to check whether the same data is present in both of the flip-flop or not. If it is same data present on the flip-flop, that is your violation. You should not have that. At, that means it is your fast. Data is very fast and it should not be very fast. And in setup, we say that data should not be too slow. In hold, it should not be too fast. That is what the difference between your hold time and setup time is. That is all for this video. We will come up with more concepts in further videos. Till then, please do like, share and subscribe to the channel. And please do give your important feedback in the comment section. Thank you.